and welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. If you're new to my channel, then click that subscribe button so that you can get more videos on science experiments in the future. In today's video, we're going to talk about conductors and insulators. And I'm also going to show you how to take simple materials and make a complete circuit. If you're interested in this topic, then stay tuned. The materials you will need today are a cell, which is a battery, three pieces of wire, some masking tape, a mini light bulb, and a variety of materials to test to see if they're conductors or insulators. We're going to make a circuit first. Safety is really important when we're doing experiments. So in this particular experiment, please be careful when touching the wires against other metal because it becomes hot. Also, don't put your fingers on the wire once you have your circuit made. Let's explore and make a simple circuit. So you need your two wires, your D-cell battery, you will need your light bulb and a light bulb holder if you have one. If you don't, it still should work. All right, so what is a complete circuit? A complete circuit means that you're going to have a complete circle where everything is touching together. So I took my tape and taped the wire to each end of the battery. Then I took my light bulb and placed it into this holder. Now we're going to take the wires and place them in the little clips that I have here. That's one. Now, notice this is not a complete circuit because there's a gap in it. Let's place the other wire and see what occurs. There we go. Oops. All right, the bulb comes on. All right, so now we have a complete circuit. Everything, some of my wires are a little bit loose. Everything is touching. So the wires to the batteries, the wires to the clip, and then the bulb is touching the metal. So that's our complete circuit. Now, with this particular one, I did not use a battery holder, but I've made another one. This one has a battery holder. This is the one we're going to use for conductors and insulators to test out. So this is not a complete circuit and the bulb is not on. But let's touch the two wires together and see what will occur. Make sure you can see that. All right, as you can see, the bulb is trying to come on. It's coming on. We want it a little bit stronger. Okay. Now, the good thing about the battery holder is that if you don't touch these wires and you just touch the battery holder, you're uh, safer. Now we're going to test conductors and insulators. I want you to make a chart like mine. Put on one side conductor and the other side insulator. You're going to make a prediction of the items that I'm going to test, or you can make a prediction of the items you're going to test using your simple circuit. Remember, a conductor will allow the charge to flow and will have current electricity. So the light bulb will come on. An insulator will stop the charge from flowing and the light bulb will not come on. We're going to test pencil or wood. Let's 
sort of a rubber or leather type band. A dime. This gold metal. Plastic cap. Paper clip. And then we have another type of paper clip. A spoon and foil. Which of these do you think is insulators or which of these do you think are conductors? We're going to test our materials to see if they are conductors or insulators. First we're going to test the paper clip. Did you say if it is a conductor or if it's an insulator? Now remember, if it's a conductor, the light bulb will come on because uh, the current uh, electricity or the current charge will continue to flow. Let's test it out. It is a conductor because the light bulb came on. So we're going to place this on our chart on the conductor side. Now let's test out this next paper clip. What do you think? Look at this paper clip closely. Do you think this paper clip is going to be a conductor also? Let's test out and see. This paper clip is an insulator because this paper clip has a plastic coating on the outside, even though on the inside there is wire, on the outside we have a plastic coating. Why is the plastic coating important on wires. Think about that. We're going to put that under insulator. Let's test out the foil. Do you think it's a conductor or an insulator? If you said a conductor, then you are correct again. This is a conductor because the uh, light bulb has come on and our circuit is complete. Place this and begin to observe the materials for the conductors as conductors and materials that are insulators and see how they are different or how they are alike as conductors and how they are alike as insulators. We're going to test the dime. The dime is a conductor. Notice the light bulb has come on again. What is the dime made of? Let's test the pencil next. The pencil is made of wood. Is it a conductor or an insulator? If you said an insulator, you are correct. Now the pencil part is made of uh, part wood, but on the inside it has lead or graphite. Do you think this part of the pencil, would it be a conductor or an insulator? We're going to test out the spoon. The spoon is an insulator. It stopped the flow of the current charge. It breaks the circuit. Okay, we have this gold pen or this pen. Do you think it's an insulator or a conductor? Let's see.
It is a conductor. The light is come on and the uh, current is flowing and our circuit is complete. So we have two more left. We have this watch band, part of a watch band, which is rubber and silicone material. And then we have this cap, which is plastic. Are these conductors or are these insulators? Let's test. The plastic cap is an insulator. Place that one here. And let's test this watch band. It is an insulator because the light bulb did not come on and it broke the circuit or stopped the charge from flowing. Now, when you test your materials, look at what they're made of and determine why is it important to have conductors and insulators when, for electricity? Why do we need both? Conductors and insulators are both important. We need the conductors in order for the electricity to flow so that we can have things that work like our lights, our stove, our refrigerator, hair dryer, anything that takes electricity. But insulators are just as important because insulators are the things that keep us safe from electricity so that we don't get shocked or we don't get um, burned. So those are important also. Current electricity is the flow of a charge through materials. We give credit to current electricity to Benjamin Franklin for his famous kite experiment that he conducted during an electrical storm in 1752. He discovered that lightning was electricity. After his experiment, other scientists or, and inventors began to learn even more about current electricity. Thomas Edison, he is famous for bringing current electricity into our homes. He invented the light bulb and he had a team of members who helped him with the invention. When Thomas Edison was inventing his light bulb, one problem that he had was that the filament was made of paper. The filament is what, was, what would burn and give off the light. And because the filament was made of paper, it would burn out quickly, and then you would have to continue to change your light bulb. Well, one of his team members was Louis Latimer. Louis Latimer invented the carbon filament. And with the carbon filament, it burned longer. Are you interested in these three scientists? If yes, then I want you to do research on one of them and leave in the comments something else you learned about them or what they invented or what they did in history to become so famous. If you entered the giveaway in the last video, then check that description box to see if you are a winner. I had two energy balls, so I have two winners. If you're a winner, then email me your address and your full name, and I will get those out to you in the next few weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Have a wonderful and blessed day. See you soon.